Hello, welcome back. So today we are working on a train rooftop package unit and it's not cooling. I already checked the thermostat. That was set to cool. That unit is connected through a multi-zone uh, multi system. Multi-zone like a different type of rooms and they have their separate thermostat so all those thermostats are connected to a main unit and the thermostat wire from that unit are going to the main controller and from that controller to going some various zone dampers so so all are set to cool but the unit is not working just looking around power is on and unit is not running so let's open up the panel usually i turn off the main power when i open up the panel electrical panel especially but in this case i just want to see what is going on if this unit has a main controller board inside i just want to see the error code so we'll just open up the panel and so we'll open up all the panel and see what is going on okay so i have opened up the electrical section i can see this unit has a three phase uh, monitoring device and which is uh, which has a solid red light uh, green light that means it's good and this controller board also has a solid uh, green light that means we don't we do not have the power issue but i'm going to check incoming main power supply and then the low voltage okay i have set my multimeter to the voltage setting and usually the power comes from this disconnect switch and going to that contactor both contactor so this unit has two compressor two contactor for those compressors and also this unit have a so filter looks clean if you wanna so this is a centrifugal kind of blower but it's a direct drive not a belt drive So blower is not working, compressor not working, I mean then we just open the unit and condenser fan, so, so looks like the unit doesn't have any call, so we will check that, but first we are going to check the incoming power supply, so the power comes through this disconnect switch going to that both contactor and connected parallelly and the low, uh, the upper portion of the contactor when the cooling call is comes through the thermostat then both contactor pulls in and the power goes to this compressor and the compressor run and that's the, that's how the system works so i just want to check the incoming power supply here multimeter is set to the voltage are not tight I don't know I always have this issue okay 591 next two leg 592 next two legs 593 so we have proper incoming power which is 575 and here is a transformer for the low voltage so we can check like a one lead to ground and the next lead to the R wire so we have 26 voltage here 26 okay so we have proper incoming power supply high voltage and low voltage 
So next thing we're gonna check if we really have a call for cool. So this is our yellow wire here, this one. So we're gonna check that uh, to ground or to common between R, uh, between Y and C or ground. Okay. I already inserted my lead. Nothing. So we do not have any call for cool. So next thing, just to verify, we will jump this out the therm we will jump the thermostat out between R to Y1 okay I have set my jumper to R and this is Y and power is on okay both contactor pulled in I can feel the suction line is getting cold, both compressor. That means the unit doesn't have any refrigerant issue and our blower is also working. So the condenser fan is not moving. So ambient is too hot. If that unit has a fan cycling control, but that should come right away because the ambient outside is like 90, 90 degrees Fahrenheit okay I'm gonna turn off the power and I'm gonna just okay so it looks like a unit turned off on a high pressure locked out so power is off Power is off, so I just wanna rotate it. Oh. Oh my. Wow, it's not even moving. It's seized. So we have a bad condenser fan. So we have two issues on this unit. Everything is perfect. We have bad condenser fan motor, and we have to really dig deep into why we are not getting call for cool. Even all the multi joint thermostat are calling like set to cool. So we're gonna find out where that controller is and uh, we're gonna check that. Okay, so I was able to reset the main controller at downstairs and customer was with me so I couldn't shoot it. But here I let the power on but I removed that high pressure switch wire so here if I connect it so here so we are getting a cooling call now the main culprit for this unit is condenser fan motor so I think we have to replace it okay so the customer approved the code for new motor replacement and I got the new motor, condenser fan motor and I left the unit off because there was no sense of leaving that unit on if the condenser fan motor was seized so <clears throat> that was the best option I thought so we're gonna check the motor spec before installing it always I recommend checking the electrical spec whenever you are changing the or we are changing the electrical component just match the spec with the OEM okay so this is our new condenser fan motor so I'm just checking the spec here it says voltage 575 so that's the main thing amps 2.4 and horsepower 0.75 the original unit label was faded and this is the run cap whenever I change the motor I also change the capacitor so this is the run cap for the motor so I'm gonna double check these uh, amps rating and the horsepower rpm 1100 
I'm gonna double check with the unit label. Okay, so this is the unit label, train unit label, they faded very quickly. So I don't know if you can see, but I can see here. So this is the condenser fan motor, it says single phase and 0.75 HP and 575 volt. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but it's very, very faded. So we are good. So our new motor got very long wires. So I think we have to disconnect the old motor long wire from the capacitor and the contactor. If you see here, yes, it's going through the conduit right there. And coming here, this is the run cap. And the purple wire is going to the contactor. This purple wire. You, uh, whenever, uh, like, one or first or second stage contactor energize, the condenser fan will work. So that's the good thing. In some units, the condenser fan are only energized when the first stage cooling is called. But in this case, both they are uh, wired parallelly to the both conductor. See the, this pur pur purple wire I'm talking about. And this, so we have to disconnect all these wire. And it's gonna be a lot of work. Okay, I have removed the run cap and these are the three wire coming from the condenser fan motor. So these two purple and brown were going to the cap and the purple wire coming from this, this purple wire coming from that cap and this one and second that brown wire and this third wire was going to the contactor. So it was going to the like uh, lower side of the conductor line side. That, that means it was uh, 24 hour live. And the other purple wire was connected to the lower side of the contactor whenever the contactor get pulled in and the condenser fan motor runs. So that's how it was wired. So I have disconnected the wire and now I will be able to easily pull out the condenser fan motor okay so the condenser fan blade came out easily and this is the new thing I found on the condenser fan motor uh, so basically what this does uh, this increase the uh, heating area of the motor and the heat get contacts in this fin and through the air the motor gets uh, proper cooling so that's a good thing so next thing we're gonna remove that and place it on our new motor okay new motor back in the, the cooling strip is on this place properly nice and tight and fan blade I have used uh, this thread locker whenever I use uh, whenever I tight the blade this the bolt I use this thread locker and the, I have placed the new conduit on the not new the same conduit on the condenser fan motor wire so we're gonna place it connect the wire and test it okay so new motor back in I installed the new capacitor connected all those wire coming two wire coming from the motor to the capacitor and one wire going to the contactor line side so already zipped it place a zip tie on the wire everything is looking okay so just turning the power on Both compressor, both contactor pulled in. Both compressor are working. Our new motor is working perfect. So I'm gonna place that panel, like this panel here, and 
we're gonna test uh, check the supply air temperature so this is our ambient temperature 75.2 in the shade so today is cloudy day so we're gonna check the supply air temperature it's going down okay supply air temperature is showing 44.9 or 45 which is good and the condensate water started coming out so this unit is working fine on both stages thank you for watching see you soon on next video